Uh, just about ready for our countdown here. Okay, so, so we've Luke's got... driving debut in five seconds. He's going to be driving FIFAN. And, and uh, it's going to be Immortal Syrix. Crixus. Crixus. Okay, Luke, uh, he, he did a little somersault, but he's doing fine. Yeah, the weapons. We working. believe in you, Luke. The drive is happening. Oh my goodness. And uh, it seems as though the weapon on the Immortal is quite high powered. He's getting great pops on uh, on FIFAN. Luke doing a good job keeping the front of his bot facing the right way. Luke has an incredible uh, tactic. He's, he's trying to lure him in with, you know, the, the false notion that he doesn't know what he's doing, but <laughs> he's actually a, a mastermind driver. Uh, yeah, th driving into the corner and giving your opponent your back is definitely masterful driving. Here we go. He's fired back up. There we go. Got Come the on, Luke. Running. And uh, there he goes. He's got the rest of the team behind him. They're like, please don't break our robot. Please don't break our robot. Please don't break our robot. <laughs> oh, we worked my really hard on this, Luke. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Come on, Luke. I mean, I should be impartial. So uh, the Immortal Crixus is not a bot that I've seen before. Really powerful weapon on this bot. Love the big wheel design. Yeah, it's got a couple of nice wedgelets in the front. Yeah, it's mean looking. It's, yeah. uh, it looks like it could belong to the dark side family in a lot of ways. With that red and black uh, theming on it. We can talk. We'll talk after the match. I like it. You could build a stable, a stable of bots. That'd That's be it. The dark side stable. I'll be the Jimmy Hart of uh, combat robotics. <laughs> Uh, Lane sent us another two pounds to say, add a boy, Luke, keep dancing. I love it. I have no, uh, I have no advice for Luke, but I do question driving into the walls a little bit. Oh, nice pop there. You know, you got to love the moxie of FIFAN, right? They work so hard. They build this spot with their team, the Cybears team. They get it all ready to go. They come to the competition, and their first chance of staying in the winner's bracket, their first chance of advancing in the tournament, they're like, you know what? Let's give oh, a bot to a oh guy no. who's never driven anything before. Oh, no. It's still going, though. It is a resilient bot. Oh, it's very well built. Yeah, they did a great job with FIFAN. We've seen FIFAN at this competition many times before. 30 seconds left on the clock. And that's some Ooh. back armor getting chunked out there by that really sharp weapon, it looks like, on the Immortal. Look at all, all right. of that. 15 Peeled seconds. Up plastic. We've got 15 seconds. Thank you, Chris. And look, the weapon just fired up a little bit on FIFAN and went back down. I'm very excited to see how uh, how Luke feels about this fight afterwards. And 1-0. That's the end of the fight. All Weapons right. off. Please drive back to the door. Oh, my look goodness. At Luke. He looks exhausted. He does look exhausted. Oh, man, if he keeps doing this today, I don't know if he's going to be able to keep announcing. Oh my, someone get him a blanket and a, and a cup of tea. Yeah, one of those like uh, like emergency relief shiny, relief shiny blankets, you know? He needs that. Wow. Whew. All right. I can't wait to get Luke back over here to talk to him about that experience. So uh, the Immortal moves on in the winner's bracket. P-Fan will go down to the loser's bracket. And, you know, we're not going to blame that on Luke. Oh, definitely not. No, I think, he, you know what? I think he could have, uh, you know, done a lot worse for his first match <laughs> out there. I mean, that worse. He got some hits in. Yeah, he went he, weapon uh, to weapon. He was driving the bot like you, you know, you're supposed to kind of open up the match, and yeah. you know, it, it's just like it looked like uh, there was a little bit of a reach advantage, um, you know, against FIFAM, and they capitalized on that. They, they capitalized Here we're looking on really back well. at the pits. Look at all these wonderful people. Let's get some waves. Hey, hey, people in the pits. How's it going? I see some familiar faces out there. Oh, there's Tyler Wynn right there. Lucy Dew right there. Everybody's working hard. This is the beginning of the tournament. This is when everybody's still trying to get those last screws into their top plates. Hey, guys, how's it going back there? Folks have passed safety or are passing safety right now, and they're getting all ready to go. We've got Luke coming back to sit with us here in a moment. Once he gets his headset on, we're going to uh, get his opinion on that. The Immortal won the last match. There we go. You can see uh, one of our cameramen back there. And if you uh, if you can see all the way in the back, that is a new edition box that we have back there. Oh, yeah, that's box four.
Yeah, box you four is where um, basically where we're going to have some grudge matches. There'll be some losers bracket matches back there. It is just allowing us to uh, to to get more matches through more consistently. There's a nice shot of the test box. What is this? This is the brand new robot from Joe Fabiani, Kyle. This is is this a Brussel Brussel drive? Uh, I believe so. Yes. Oh my goodness! It's Diana Tarlson. Hi, Diana Tarlson. Hello, hello. All right, how are you doing? Hello. All right, so we've got all three of our judges here. It's good to see you guys. So we've got Jack, Jack Tweedy, we've got Don, and we've got brand new judge Diana. Why don't we go ahead and start with you, Diana? Welcome to the team. How'd you feel about that last fight? How did Luke do? I actually felt like he did really well for his first time driving. He Ooh. showed a lot of good control Ooh, Diana. over his robot. I mean, two-wheeled robots are hard to drive even without like a spinning weapon on the front of them. So I commend Luke. He did a really good job for his first fight. Thank you. Thank you very much. So uh, who do you think won the fight, though? Uh, I Immortal won that fight. <laughs> Fair enough. I appreciate that. All right, Don, what are your thoughts on that fight? I tell you, it's a pretty close one. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... You know, get on Luke for making full three minutes and you yeah. know, resort morals. I appreciate that. Jack, what are your thoughts? Yeah, the Immortal definitely won that fight hands down, but Luke did a hell of a lot better than a lot of people's first time picking Ooh. up a transmitter. Thank I you. I am feeling so happy about that. Now, Jack, I got to ask you, are you stocked up? Do you have energy drinks? Do you have coffee? Do you have everything you need? You are across the pond. And I, this is going to be a long day. I have a small day. stockpile. All right, but good. I have been at work this morning, so I may well look like somewhat of a zombie <laughs> by the time the event is over. <laughs> Appreciate that, guys. Thank you very much. So the Immortal wins that fight. Thank you so much to our judges. We're going to be loading into Cage 3 <clears> next. <throat> we do have a super chat from Andrew. Andrew Russell, he says, have a great event today. We will, Andrew. Thank you so much. Kyle, look, I've, uh, I've changed my, uh, my clothing. I 